Facebook can be an incredible marketing tool for your business. It can also be an incredible way to keep in contact with your friends. But sometimes, doing both at the same time can be a conflict of interest. I'm Dane Reed, the voiceover guy from my hometown in New York. Check me out. So recently I have decided that after 1,500 friends or so, that I'm gonna start screening the people who are on my friends list. And there's a reason for that. So originally, you know, I connected with friends, I've connected with old teachers, I've connected with so many great people on Facebook, and I think it's absolutely awesome. But when you collect 1,500 friends, you start to realize you don't know all of these people. And you're putting a lot of your personal information out there. And over the years, I've shared things as the development of my career on Facebook. I've shared some of my love life. And you guys have definitely um, been great in following me all around the world from Asia to Australia to Europe to Central and South America and, of course, all over this country. And when I look at it sometimes, there are so many people of the 1500 who I absolutely do not interact with. I don't know these people. Now, certainly, I've developed friendships from people who I don't know. But then, over time, there's also been conflicts. Now, I've decided to use my Facebook um, page as a way to market myself. And some of the personal stuff is kind of, you know, I've kind of left that stuff in the, the past, you know. And I've chosen between activism and professionalism, something that sometimes still hurts me in my heart. But I use my Facebook page and I let people know about what I'm doing in my business because it's a way that I can share and we don't have to sit there and worry about, you know, our politics. But of course, there's still so many people who use Facebook in their politics and that's their choice and I don't blame them. But for me, I've decided, you know what, I'm gonna slow down on that. I'm gonna show you guys what I do in terms of voiceover work. And so far, that's worked for me. And, and I absolutely enjoy that, you know? I love what I do um, in my career. I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of commercials um, and, and narrations and, and a whole lot of other things. I've imaged, I, I, I have several stations that I image for. I've shown you guys some of that stuff. Uh, but recently, when I realized that just I don't know all of these people and I'm putting out stuff that is personal, like, you know, pictures of where I am and where I go and who I'm going with, it made me start to screen some of the people who are on uh, my friends list. And I think this is something that everybody needs to do. Of course, I've made some good money off of Facebook and connected with some people and become friends, real friends, just on the basis of we're Facebook friends. This uh, past week, I flew out to Spain to hang out with a voiceover colleague who I met one time and he put me up in his house and it was awesome, but he continues to, to, to connect with me on social media and we had an awesome time. Big shout out to my man, Ted McAleer, all right? And, and I really appreciate those experiences. Other people have welcomed me into their homes. I've interviewed a lot of you guys and I absolutely love it. But still, you put things on your Facebook page like your birthday, your kids' birthdays, um, who you're dating, sometimes they're tagged with your geolocation and these are things that you have to really 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 pay attention to and you have to balance them out between how much publicity am I getting from my career and how much personal stuff am I putting out there that compromises me 
And in, in turn, I have to be able to trust the people that are on my Facebook page. In addition to that, I don't wanna get into a lot of the pettiness that comes with Facebook. I am a debater, I am a fighter, I am a guy who's very passionate about social justice and the issues and politics. But I know there are other people who are also very, very concerned about those things also. So that we don't bump heads and that we're not constantly at each other. I've just decided to screen who comes about so that people who I don't know any longer are not sitting there when they see me, oh, I remember when you were in Australia or something like that. And I'm like, oh, you're one of my friends. And you just gotta be really smart about that. So uh, I dedicate this video to Dan uh, who reminded me of that, who's a fan of mine and um, who emailed me because he was rejected as a Facebook friend or you know, whatever. So, Dan, this is for you. And um, continue watching my videos and subscribe to my page. And again, if you want voiceover work, Dan, uh, from me, please reach out to me on my um, Dane Reed Media website. I'm Dane Reed, the voiceover guy. Um, and tomorrow I get a chance to finally go back home and get some rest, all right? Peace out, I'm gone.